Oh, what's up guys? Everything Apple Pro here and I just got this new tray for uh, my breakfast. So I'm excited to try it out. And in this video, I'm a little worried that it could break. So I'm gonna be testing out how drop resistant this new tray is. And that tray would be known as the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. But all jokes aside, this is Apple's new iPad, the Pro series. It's aimed at professional usage, but I can see being used for a lot of other uses. Cutting board, maybe bring your significant other breakfast in bed or tabletop for board games. So with this video, my goal is to test the durability. Yeah, it's an exciting new product. It's a lot bigger, but how's the durability when subjected to drops from various heights and various angles? Also, I'm going to throw in a bend test at the end just as a bonus. But here's the new iPad Pro. Let's go ahead and destroy it. Now, I do understand that we're not going to be raising this thing up really high to talk on it like we would on an iPhone. So the drop test will be a little bit different. We're going to do a three foot drop and a six foot. So to simulate a waist height usage where one would use it down low and eye level right here. I think that makes more sense to me. Now, the glass on this thing, it has a lot of new technology to make it compatible with the Apple Pencil. So, you know, it might be different than any other iPad. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with three feet on its rear, dropping in three, two, one. Wow, that makes a lot of noise. And I don't know what material Apple's using in this, but it looks pretty good, so still good. Now this thing has a lot of mass. Once we start dropping it on its side or face down, I don't see this thing surviving for very long. Let's do that side impact. Dropping in three, two, one. Oh. Wow, so quite an impact there. This thing has a lot of mass. This glass, man, it won't last for very long, but this does have more of a border than the iPhones do, so maybe it will be a little bit more durable. All right, face down, three feet. Dropping, hopefully there won't be an earthquake. <laughs> three, two, one. Man, that creates a lot of noise and wind. So, oh wow, we're good. Man, okay, so pretty resilient at three feet. So that's pretty much what most people are gonna be using it at. So what if you're using it at eye level? That would be about five to six feet, you know, just to be safe, I'm gonna up it to six feet and see where that leaves us, All right? So roughly five, six feet right here. Rear impact, this honestly might bend. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> that's it right there. The screen didn't crack, but man. So <laughs> experienced quite a glitch. iOS 9, man, this is such a buggy release. Apple should fix this. <laughs> wow, so that's all it took, but the glass didn't crack. Hey, man, this uh, new LCD technology in order to accommodate the Apple Pencil might be more brittle. And that's just a rear impact, but <laughs> Man, that's uh, it's quite interesting. So six feet is all it takes to break this thing. The display, it's starting to dim. The colors are looking strange and all this glitching when I actually <laughs> start playing with it. So it actually looks like one of the layers of the display has stopped working. Uh, it's really strange. It's such an interesting 3D effect. So that multi-layered LCD that makes uh, the Apple Pencil work, that's what we're seeing right here. It does make this thing more brittle. So wow, that's all it took, that's crazy. So it doesn't even matter if your display cracks or not, this thing is unusable after a six foot rear impact to drop. Like I said, there's just a lot of surface area and it makes breaking things a little bit easier. So at this point, we've tested the durability of the display. Next, I wanna bend this thing or see if I can and test the material of this unibody rear. Is the aluminum strong? Let's find out. Whew, need to get a pump. Here we go. All right, spazzing iPad Pro 12.9 inch bend test or attempted bend test. I'm not that strong, but I'll give it my best shot. So here we go. Whew. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. This is tough. I got a little bend in there, but I'm gonna keep going and uh, give it all I got. 
Oh, there we go. That's what it took. So the weak point for me is right here. Definitely wouldn't bend exactly in the middle. There you go. Didn't actually take all that much. Just a good pump. So, you know, the display is a little bit functioning up here. I could see some icons down here, but it's unresponsive. And man, I was a bit surprised, but it makes sense. This thing is thin. You know, it took me a lot of effort to bend it. So don't worry about bending this thing in day-to-day -day tasks. It won't happen. And of course, you're not putting this in your pocket. So bend from that probably is impossible. But just wanted to test how uh, tough the material is. And I got to tell you, it's pretty dang tough. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whew. I got a good workout from that. Let's try and unbend it. Okay. All right, so guys, there you go. Be careful with your iPad Pro. It's not as durable as it may first appear. It's definitely an amazing tool. It's got four awesome speakers. This thing is blazing fast and just don't drop it. Try not to bend it. And if it does happen, rest assured, it will not survive. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Had a lot of fun filming this video. Be sure to check out some other videos on my channel. Subscribe for many more great ones and take care of your iPad Pro. Peace.